apathy or fear. It seems many have grown aloof on the recent solutions of things in the country. As the fearless in October protests saw low turnout in Abuja, Lagos and other states amid heavy security. Meanwhile, organizers take it back movement dismissed President Tinubu's planned 30-day national youth conference, calling it a jamboree to reward his supporters. Mm. Wow. Mm. You know, um, the last turnout was just so low and it lacked energy. So it lacked momentum. Exactly. It lacked energy, momentum, and it lacked presence of the youth. It's more like nothing happened. Yeah. So I was even asking what happened like did nobody on October one. Mm -hmm. October first, yes. So like what are your thoughts on this? Is it fear or apathy? Mm -hmm. It's more like um the citizens have grown like apathy over time mm. that I do not care. They have grown like they have thick skin when it comes to anything that has to do with government, anything mm. that has to do with politics or the Nigerian situation. So what I are your thoughts? Good. In my own opinion, I think it's good. Nigerians have just many Nigerians have are almost given at that stage where they're almost giving up on where whatever the government wants to do eh? it's their own business will survive. And on the other hand too, the government has not shown that or let's ju let's just say the government of the day are yet to come to that stage where they can prove to every citizen that yes we are democratic do whatever you want to do have your say let the minority have their say and the majority have their way mm. we will respect the rights of citizens that's where the problem is mm. so using the government uh, instrument of government to clamp down on citizens voices yes i understand that we are weary of people hijacking these things yes. and, and turning chaotic, Trans destroying chaos. public infrastructures. But then, on the other hand, the citizens are trying to lay out their genuine concerns. concerns. So, well, I think in the wisdom of the president, in the wisdom, let, let's just give him that credit, but it's up to him to prove to Nigerians that, yes, it can be different. Now, in the wisdom of the president, to introduce the 30 Days Youth Conference, mm, is, there an opportunity, like is there an opportunity for the young people to now use that platform? To channel their grievances and their concerns to the government. Hmm. You know, um, then again, okay. sorry to cut you, Nikki. Then again, we raised the concern earlier. Was it in Nikki's yes. session or so yes, that we yeah. talked about um, what are the policies or processes. you get processes that are going to be in place to mm -hmm. select these people? Because you cannot have a special set of people going there and Besides expect me. to voice the mm -hmm. concerns of the and youth. And you go just live, stay in a very lo uh, luxury Hotels accommodation or and, and taking the super and the <laughs> We need people, we need people on ground who are yeah. more like the voice of business. the youth. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they need to put, you get, in place good processes. So, what mm -hmm. are your thoughts on it? Okay, so, just as Elijah earlier said, you know, you would just like, I jacked my thoughts from my, from my mind. When you asked the question as to whether, you know, is it apathy or fear, both, you know, came to mind. And I said both, right? Why? So, as regards to apathy, you know, the October 1st protests, wasn't the first protest that we had in Nigeria. Yes. And there have been previous protests and we've seen outcome. Now, citizens who come out to exercise their right, you know, their fundamental human right to express or for freedom of expression, you know, and, you know, freedom of peaceful protest and gathering, they come out and we, we saw what happened during 20, the year 2020. Enters. Enters. We saw, we saw what happened October. during that protest. Right. That that it leaves rent free in, in our, our head. head. Yes. Now the last protest. So after that, there was no we didn't despite the blood that were shed, we did not see changes in the government. No, nothing changed. Now the one that happened recently, um, that was still this year now, before before the first October. Yes. I think nothing, first, no changes. Like people first, were going out no, no, first of all. Be, before okay, first of August, first right? Of August, yeah. 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 Now people were go people, you know, youth came out to say, Okay, we're going out to protest and then we had people saying things like, Go and protest, we are going to sit down in our house to eat. Like I, I don't understand. So imagine you know I getting feel, those kind of reactions. All of these things, you know, let you know, they keep building up the yes, apathy. So we can't exactly. solely come and blame this. Well, it, it's a two-way thing, right? So people have seen reactions, or citizens have seen reactions of these things, and we've seen the, the trajectory and what they call it, trajectory, or what they call it now. And so 
coming down to 1st October. Now, 1st October came or before that time. Now, that's where the issue of fear comes in now. And then, okay, the issue of vote, Nigeria decides. We saw what happened. Yeah, what right. Yes. People came out, you know, with the old energy. They want to vote. And um, we, all, we all know what happened then. Um, I, I, I think that was like the largest turnout of youth that youth, came out. Yes. You know, and then we saw how they disappointed us. Okay. So, it's so now, like, like, sorry, but the process me, disappointed you. Like, the <laughs> process. Like, you, exactly. It's not the outcome. Okay. It's the yeah, outcome. No, the process. We are talking yes, about yes, the process. The process, the yes. process of, of the process, yes, process yes, yes. The process and the outcome of it. Yeah, the process, the process. which led to the <laughs> outcome. <laughs> the process leads to... I will stick to the process. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get okay. the process. So, now, speaking of fear... I get your point. Those. Yeah, of course. Now, speaking of fear, right... Um, we we before the first October, I think the first um so we 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 had information we got information as to how some of this um law enforcement, you know, yes. forces were out yeah, and then exactly. if you come out for this, you know, the, the, just this repression you get. So now how do we now expect citizens is it's like their hope, our hopes are battered, right? Um we, we, we can't I don't know. So it's both apathy and fear. Yes, because, yes, you're right. It's both apathy and fear. In the sense that 2020 still leaves wrench free in everybody's head. It's more like trauma for a lot of people. Yeah. They saw what happened, the lives that were lost and nothing came out of it. So it's more like, ah, you don't want to die. And in, nobody in, wants to die. Exactly, yeah. nobody wants to die. Mm -hmm. Even the death, still nothing came out. Exactly. So I think that is, that is enough. Mm -hmm. That fear is enough to create apathy. It's yeah. more like fear mm -hmm. leading to apathy. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts? Well, like I said, um, we, I think the government has a chance now. President Tunubu's government, he has given himself, or he has the opportunity now to change the mindset of young Nigerians. You see... The instruments, various instruments and political or state actors have one way or the other discourage young persons from coming out to express their thoughts in the form of peaceful protests. Because and the excuse they give was that other people, other people or other uh, persons of of bad or evil motive may hijack the situation mm, and yes. turn it to be violent, which yeah. is valid. valid their yeah. concern is valid. But now introducing a national youth conference. Is an opportunity for to the address. for the government to prove to the young people that yes, I'm with you, mm. provided yeah. that they can allow. I'm coming yeah, from this place place back to the question. A non-political group okay. said something about them. This um, 30 days conference, conference being okay. a jamboree. Like mm. nobody, nobody is like having that faith in that. that that's what that's I'm. That's, that, that, that's, that's, that's we are we are judging. You know this, mind you. Let's be fair to the Tunubu government as much as we we come to a point out some of the loopholes, loopholes yes. and mistakes or errors but let's be fair to president Tunubu's administration but this is not just about the president Wait, we know that yes we know, yeah i know government is a continuum yeah government is a continuum but the president at that time says so much about the strategy and leadership okay. of that administration now in the past we've had various similar kind of instances where they give platform for people mm. to come discuss about the way forward the country even though it may not necessarily be only youth focus mm. but this time around now it is president Tinubu versus the youth mm. it has always been president Tinubu versus the youth mm. even before he became president, president. Mm. it was always Tinubu versus the youth i think it's and the youth uh -huh. so now <laughs> now you know he, since he became a president it has been one way or the other protest even though people have been discouraging young persons to come out. But now, he's bringing that platform that, okay, young people, okay, that energy that you say you have, that you want yeah, to go to yeah. come and sit down here and put that energy. Work with me. Let's re-strategize a way out for our country. And we are but not saying... But the concern now, other people are saying, is that they are judging him, his actions, based on what has happened before. before yes. What I'm going to say is that it's too early to make a statement. No, you know, Personally, like, I'll have to, like, I will say, let's give the there. president the benefit of that. I'll have to cut you there, you know, in the sense that people are calculating and measuring results mm. it's results we measure process without results is we're, we're as saying as the same thing if the process nothing. if the process see the, the past results the result, have been nothing short of if you do what you always do you get what you always get before you get the result you should not be too anxious about the result that will forget the process let's focus on the process now we're still on the process the 30 days youth conference has not started yet 
-hmm. So they have not even started recruiting people that will go for for it. Can we just take a cheap pee? That is if it's going to hold. It will hold if the president says it's going to hold. It's going to hold. I believe it's going to hold. I'm not. I'm not advocating for the president i'm only coming from the side of common sense and fairness mm. if the president says this is what he wants to do let's give him a benefit of doubt but they are and then now let's hold, let the president i'm saying directly i'm speaking directly to the office of the president president tunubu president of the federal republic of nigeria sir please in the process of trying to arrange or organize this conference the process should be transparent and Free it and should stay. be inclusive of yeah. every kind of youth in nigeria both those from the informal sector mm -hmm. the formal sector, sector the creative and should be diverse the, as well what do you call them what other sector uh, professional sector different political cultural. sector too because you will say you will like yeah they are political youth you yeah, allow them i mean when i mean political youth not only those from apcu mm. allow youth across from all, all politi parties. across all political parties, parties to be there we are looking for a sustainable solution if you do that you have actually proved to nigerians that you are a leader that you are in your own right. So, then so let's, let's give the president the benefit of I think reaching out is a two-way street to meet um, at the middle. Then I'll talk to like um, the citizens as well to okay. shun out apathy, you understand? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. The citizens should be willing to... You cannot expect change. a government to work mm -hmm. by saying, I'm not interested, it's mm -hmm. not my concern, by True. being unpatriotic. You keep trying. You get... You get so we cannot keep on um, passing lack of um interest down to the younger generations mm -hmm. that forget it's not going to happen mm -hmm. it's not going that's to that's how it has always that's been. how it has so it's more like um transmitting fear over time and mm -hmm. apathy so i th i would say um being involved in um government is also your right Political you have activities. like fairness there too civic exactly yeah. it's more like yeah, your civic, civic right, responsibility and rights and uh, citizens rights yeah. exactly being a responsible citizen yeah exactly that is the idea all right thank you very much ladies yeah it's, we really had a nice time having this conversation it's important we have this conversation hopefully our relevant authorities stakeholders will learn and build on this we we'll have a better society mm -hmm. better nigeria and better humanitarian situation in the world at large yeah. we try to tell it like it is regardless of whose acts is God. As a Nikki stated, do keep your comments coming in on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG or on X and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocates. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at plus TV Africa. Until next time, when we can continue working together, to accomplish what we do best. Let's continue to push for social change. Bye. Bye.